So you know when you go to those websites you're not too familiar with and you get those annoying pop-ups of like that ball that bounces back left to right or that bird that comes in and lets you know you've won a free iPad or you're the one millionth customer or something like that? Well, a lot of those are built in Flash and uh, we're going to learn how to do that in this video. So let's go ahead and create a shape and I'll just create a red circle over here. I'll just put it right there something like that and we're gonna be animating it so we got to go ahead and let's get our move tool let's just either click on it or uh, select it let's go to modify convert to symbol symbol one okay that's cool defaults look good and let's go ahead and let's go down to our 48th frame and let's go ahead and F hit f5 create it there now right in here let's go ahead and right click create motion tween in the past, we've usually just grabbed our move tool and we've dragged it across and then we played it. Uh, we added the 3D transform tool in a couple videos ago, but let's go ahead and check out some of these default settings that you've seen in these annoying pop-ups uh, in Flash. So let's go ahead and just go up to Window, Motion Presets, and scroll up to the top. So you have your default presets and you have your custom presets. Well, we haven't created any custom presets yet. So all you have is your default presets. And they're all pretty cool. And what Flash does, it shows you a pretty cool example of what the outcome looks like. So this is a bounce in 3D. And obviously you could tell that our frame is set to 48 frames at 24 frames per second. But this looks a lot longer than two seconds. Well, what this automatically does is some of these, obviously this is a little bit faster this is really slow some of these are really fast some of these are slower what it does is it's going to change this up it's going to automatically set to however, however long these default animations are is going to set it to our timeline let me show you what i'm talking about and sometimes if you have uh like maybe too small or too wide or just an unorthodox looking canvas or white background right here it's not going to fit to scale so you just got to kind of play around with it. There's a lot of Command Z or Control Z if you're on a PC in this. So let's go ahead and just try fly in left. And let's click apply. Do you want to replace the current motion object with new selection? Yes. And this is where Flash is going to automatically update our new frames for us because this, I think it's slower than 48 frames. So let's go and click this. And I was right. It was only 24 frames. So let's go ahead and click uh, enter and see what it looks like. Just like that. That's what it was. Now say I want to get rid of this. So I'm going to hit Command Z if you're on a Mac and Control Z if you're on a PC. And let's go back. Let's put in, let's try small bounce. Apply, let's play it. Nope, that didn't work. We're swoosh, that's cool. Let's try swoosh. Apply, still not doing it. Okay, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the top, we're gonna delete all this stuff. So you can close this and we'll do, this is cool, we'll just create another example. We'll get rid of these down here. So just right click on your frames and just go uh, clear frames, delete frames, clear frames, all. No, nope, that was the wrong one. Not clear. Remove frames. Get out of here, frames. There it is. So let's go ahead and, okay, so we need a starting spot. We need to keep frames. So F5 there on our first frame. And let's go ahead and create this to 48 again, even though it's not really going to matter. And let's go ahead and create another shape. So we're moving. This is, I'm kind of glad I messed up in this video because we're just kind of flying through our Flash user interface a lot easier now. Again, let's go ahead and select it as a symbol. should be symbol 2 now because we already biffed on our first one. And let's go ahead and here we'll click uh, Create Motion Tween. Turn to blue, that's what we're looking for. Now again to the top, go to window, and let's look at our motion presets, our default motion presets. What was the cool one, the swoosh? Let's go ahead and click apply, click yes. And right here, okay, so it's about two, a little less than two seconds. And it is gonna go off our canvas, but that's, I can deal with that. I'll just make a bigger canvas next time or a smaller circle. So let's go ahead and hit command enter to check out our final SWF and see what it looks like. Whoa. That's one. Of the, <laughs> that's pretty damn annoying, but that's what they use, stuff like this. So hopefully this made sense and you guys learned a thing about motion presets. Play around with it. Good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video.